everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to a polo game and i decided to do a makeup tutorial so i'm going to show you my steps and what i do at a polo game so first i already applied my uh, serum and now i'm going to apply some eye cream this is a bobby brown uh, hydrating eye cream we need to have the eyes under eyes hydrated so the makeup looks nice next i will use my moisturizer so my skin is nicely prepped and today i will use this innisfree hydrating cream i really like this one like this much put it on my hand i always use like a little spoolie to grab the creams from my jars because you don't want to use your fingers and it's more hygienic and with a spoolie i feel i control very well the amount of product that i'm gonna be taking instead of with my fingers that it always gets stuck on my nails and i just don't like that feeling now i will let this dry for a few minutes and then i'm gonna go in with a primer because we want my makeup to last me during the day because it's a day event and it's hot so we want everything to last so i'm gonna use this milk hydro primer hydro grip i always forget the name of this primer and i like this it's really good the makeup looks good it doesn't make me look cakey or anything and um, it's very hydrating as well a few pumps of this and I'll put it in the center of my face. And then I will let this dry for a few minutes so this way it works. Remember, chaleo! <laughs> Remember to let the primer dry because otherwise it won't work. It has to dry. Okay, I'm very glowy. I like it. So let's move into makeup. For a foundation today, I already applied a little bit of started to blend in. Um, I'm gonna use this Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in shade Light 6. This is a very light foundation, it's buildable and um, it just gives you a very nice finish and it's gonna last me all day in the heat. And it goes very well also with the milk primer. It doesn't separate because it's like very liquidy. This is very liquidy. In fact, when I use it, I have to shake it very much. So just applying with a brush and then I will go over with a beauty sponge. And then this is a damp beauty sponge and just go over as you can see it's like light coverage in fact you can still see my skin it just like uniforms the skin and it looks nice i'm going to move into concealer and today i will use this cosas concealer under eye and i'll start blending i blended all the concealer I'm also drinking my Starbucks. And now we will move into some cream bronzing contour. And I will use my usual, the Chanel. I'm gonna use like this Charlotte Tilbury brush, dip it, and then contour on the highest point of my cheek and just slowly build up. This is so beautiful. Just like very natural a bit on the forehead i have a very big forehead so i always like to contour up here and then i normally don't contour on the nose but whatever is left on the brush i just go over a little bit just to bronze it up and then on the jawline same thing that's it and now we'll go uh, over with my powders but before i'm gonna be using this cream blush from charlotte tilbury just a tiny bit and then I will blend it with the same brush I did the contour. This acts also like as a highlight as well. And it's very creamy and natural. And uh, now I will move to the powders. I will go in with the powder now. And before I do, I always use a, a beauty sponge to make sure I don't have any creases under eye and just like try to 
blend everything together in the skin and then I will use this uh, Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. Also, I will use this uh, pointy puffer. I got this from Amazon. Dab it in, dab the excess on my hand and then look up and the magic will happen. Somehow, every time I put the powder, it just like blurs and blends everything together so nicely. So different. Same thing on the other eye. Always also go like over my eyelids just to set them. And then I will like kind of bake under the cheeks. Because it's an outdoor, I'm gonna get shiny and hot real quick, but this will prevent me. I mean, I still be hot, but it's not gonna look very shiny. The powder will hold. Now I'm gonna let this sit, and then I'm gonna move into eyes. I started with my brows, and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I always go like light, a little bit at a time. And then as, when I put product and I go over, I always brush the brows up as I go to give it more of a natural look. And now we're gonna do the eye look. Today I will use this uh, Tom Ford palette and I'm gonna get this light brown shade and go on all over my crease as a base. Blended, 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 blended. As you can see, this is very natural. I just put a little bit of this, so I have it as a base. I'm not gonna do like a very heavy eye makeup, I think, today. Then with a small brush, I'm gonna use this darker brown and, and then go under the lower lash line. bit of this color right here this is more shimmery and just gonna give me a little bit more of a sparkle in my eye and then I will intensify a little bit more my lower lash line with a dark brown I think that's it what I'm gonna do for today for the eye Actually, I will put a little bit of um, the light in here with this little palette. This is very sparkly and it will just like make my eye pop. That's it. Now we'll move into finishing up the skin and then I'll get my hair done. Okay, let's move into blush. Today I will be using this Tom Ford just like this and I will just like go over this is a very nice and natural blush and then it's time to get rid of this beacon so just brush it off put a little bit more powder all over now with a fluffy brush like this just because it's outdoors and it's in the, in the middle of the day, uh, I don't want like to melt, so just like go over with it. This powder blurs the skin. Now we'll move on to mascara and I will use my usual Climax Extreme from NARS. this Dior bronzer and that's it let me get my hair done and then I will finish up with my lips okay I did my hair and um, for my lips today I use the Charlotte Tilbury 
a lip cheat in medium. Shocking, I always use this. And then this beautiful Jimmy Choo lipstick in this beautiful pinky color. Uh, I love this and also it's very pretty to go out with it when you take it out of the purse. So for my outfit, I'm all white today and the finishing touch is this hat. So I'm gonna clip it in my hair like this and voila! Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And now I'm ready to go drink some champagne and enjoy the polo game. Subscribe if you guys enjoy my tutorials and uh, see you soon. Ciao.